artists and crafts online video, Yoi Kasama, action. Hi artists and crafts families. Today's artist is Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese sculpture and installation artist. She has been acknowledged as one of the most important living artists to come out of Japan. Her work is based in conceptual art and has attributes of feminism, minimalism, and surrealism. Kusama is well known for her repeating dot patterns or infinity nets as she calls them also known in our class as polka dots. And that's what's inspired our project today. In class, we teach this project in the fall and do our version of her famous polka dot pumpkins using a paper plate, orange paint, and black circle stickers. It's such a fantastic and easy to make project. For today, since circle stickers aren't as readily available, we're gonna teach you our favorite way to create circles. For this project, you will need paper, paint, clothespins, and a pom-pom. If you don't have all these supplies at home, you could also try using an eraser on a pencil, a Q-tip, or an ink pad. So essentially in this project, we're going to make our own paintbrush. This is a lot of fun for kids, especially at this age. So to make our paintbrush, it's super easy. You just take your clothespin and pinch it. That will open it up. Put your pom-pom in it and let go. Now you have your paintbrush. And then to paint with it, you simply dip it in your red paint mm -hmm. and just dot it on your paper. Perfect. Dot, 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 dot. And I found that in class, some kids like to fill up the page with as many polka dots as possible, while other kids are more minimalists. They'll put like three polka dots on there and call it done. So another note when you're doing this, um, if your child pinches it again, it may fall out, but not a big deal. You just put it back inside. And a lot of our kids like doing that. They think it's part of the fun of creating the art just because it's a little different than they're used to. Um, so just know that probably will happen and it's not a big deal if it does. Another thing we wanted to note is sometimes your kid will not just do, exactly, they won't just do a regular polka dot. They'll take it and put it across the whole page like that, make a line, and that's totally fine. Your child's two, so um, it's not a big deal. Sometimes they like to express their self polka dots. And dot. again, don't be like, ah, yes. this is all ruined. Yes, this is all ruined. Uh, we always suggest doing your own project next to your kid if you want it to be perfect. Um, that way you won't have to, you know, stop, like, stop their creativity. Like, look at mine. Yeah, you did a great job. I feel like I'm done. Yeah? Yeah, well that's the nice part about this project. It's easy peasy. You can finish it in no time. Or if you want to keep going. Uh, we say experiment with all different colors. We decided to just go with red to keep it simple today, but you could always experiment with different colors or do like one color each day and then have a whole gallery of Kusama um, in your room. Wouldn't that be fun? Kamari, do you know how to, how I remember how to pronounce Kusama's name? I tell myself, Kusama, like Obama. <laughs> so guys, just in case you don't have a clothespin at home, because we know not everybody uses these anymore to do your laundry, and if not, I don't know why else you'd have them. I buy them for art projects or to hang up my art, right? Yeah. You know, back in the day when grandma was young, they used to hang their clothes outside using these. That's why it's called a clothes pin. Pin to hold your clothes. Oh. Pretty cool, right? I found that a lot of the kids that take my class have never even seen a clothes pin before. So getting to play with one and make some art with one is a lot of fun, don't you think? Yeah. If you don't have them at home, we have a couple different alternatives for you. You could use a pencil and an eraser. We suggest using one that's not pointy, right? You don't want to poke out your eye. Um, or you could use a Q-tip. They will both do the same thing. So if you want to just use the paint, you could dip it in the paint. If you have an ink pad at home, that's a lot of fun to use. It's a little less messy. My only suggestion is between colors, you make sure you wipe it off on the wipe. If you don't have pom-poms at home, we suggest trying to use a cotton ball. Let's see if it turns out the same. I think it will be close enough. Ready? Ah, pretty good. Bye. All right, that was super fun and simple, right? We hope you have lots of fun doing it. And don't now forget. You see me? Now you. Don't forget to tag us on Instagram or at Artisan Crafts, or you can send me an email. I'm jack at lovejack.com. Happy
Happy creating! In this episode of Conroy's mini series, you will need red paint. We, you already have it. Mm -hmm. And take one of the cotton balls and then dot all over it to make it look like Kusama's dress. Yes. And then you can dot it in there so it's sticky and then put a red pom-pom on top and then use black paint to make a face. Ooh, I like that camera. Great mini version. To make a little 